Finally, a controversy that has some fighting over the color of this bottle of lemon lime Gatorade. So this all started when players on the University of Tennessee football team shared what color Gatorade they think it was on TikTok. So some said that lemon lime was yellow. Others said it was green. And this debate has split our newsroom between those who think it's green and those who, according to our jealous and colorblind producer, wrongly think it is yellow. So joining us live now is Dr. Andrew Reynolds from UB's Jacobs School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences. We are so glad you're with us. Um, no pun intended, we have seen this before. Every few months or so, there's a new image over the internet uh, that they want to fight over. We all remember the dress that went viral years ago. It was, was it gold and white or blue and black? So now the internet is going crazy over this. So our first question to you, we sent you a photo. What color is it? Well, I, I'd like to split the difference here and, and say, I think maybe the answer is chartreuse somewhere on a <laughs> yellow green uh, spectrum. Uh, I, I guess as a kid, I always thought it was yellow. So I, I'll come down on the yellow side if you force me to pick between the two. Well, that is the correct answer, unlike what our producer Adrian tried to spread around the newsroom. So we appreciate that. Um, but what is going on here? If he sees green, I see yellow, you see yellow. What accounts for people having such a different perspective here? Well, so it, it obviously vision is a very, very complex process. It's the eye, it's the brain, it's your prior experience, it's light of day. Uh, there's many processes that go into it. The other thing is that the eye is actually capable of seeing one million different colors. So those people at Sherwin Williams who have all the different paint samples are not crazy. Uh, there actually are that many colors we could detect. And the problem is we have to peg it into a system which doesn't have nearly as many named colors, right? So uh, I really do think this this one is a little more simple than that dress from a few years ago, where I think this is a little bit yellow and a little bit green and really just kind of which one do you, you want to call it. But I think there probably is a color that most of us perceive. I think we all perceive it pretty similarly, but kind of call it something else. Uh, that dress from a few years ago was much, much more complicated, and there was a lot of science actually dedicated to that, and really there was not a great answer as to why that, that ended up being so, so disparate. I was going to say, because this is almost like a matter of opinion of sort of what, it's sort of, like you said, it's, a, it's yellowishy green almost, but that was completely, those were two totally different things. Was there any movement forward on what accounted for that? Uh, there were a lot of different theories. I, one of them had to do pretty prominently with ambient light and, and how your brain filters out extraneous light. And so that if you thought that picture was taken during the day, you kind of had one opinion. And if you thought it wasn't, you had another. Um, but there's also individual variation. And some people's eyes are a little more sensitive to blue. And some people's are a little more sensitive to red and, and kind of how you filter out that color palette. But that was really even for people who spend a lifetime in color vision research, that dress was pretty stunning to them. It really is interesting because this is kind of a whole new level. We often think of our site in terms of the quality of it, I guess I would say, but this is really something completely different. Yeah, this is, and and everyone thinks of their, oh, my vision is 2020, or my vision is uh, perfect or near perfect or whatever. Um, but color is really a whole different system, and there are uh, three different types of colors that primarily our, our retinas are set up to detect, um, but then it goes to the brain, and that's where that huge amount of processing happens, and that's how you end up getting uh, up to a million different colors that we can detect the differences between. You know, it's funny, it's something that's kind of silly, but it makes us really appreciate just what we have going on here with our eyes and how complex they are. Yeah, they're very complex, and thankfully all of us still know how to use them pretty well. <laughs> that's Dr. Andrew Reynolds from UB's Jacobs School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences taking on this very important topic tonight. Doctor, thanks again. Of course, glad I could settle the, the hard-hitting stuff tonight. <laughs> that's right. Listen, some things are important.